Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Um, so I want to make a channel, I guess, no, this is, this is a, this is a New Year's video, alright? This is just a random New Year's video. Uh, I want to make a update video talking to you guys, uh, wishing everybody a happy New Year. And, uh, start a New Year's resolution with everybody. Like, I actually have a pretty good New Year's resolution. I think it's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, you know, at least for me. Doesn't really have anything to do with, with everybody else, but actually it does. It does. If people, if people like the same shit I like, then you guys would care because I will, I will make the world a better place. That's, that's, that's my, uh, that's my goal in life. I will make the world a better place. I'll make a bet, a, the world a better place for Chinese like us. So in the background, um, I'm playing this new game. This is this this is the stream overlay that I was using yesterday. I didn't put up a green screen because um, the same rope that I used to hang my green screen, I'm currently using to hang my laundry because I just did laundry because it is it is the last day of the year. I won't have time to do it tomorrow. I'm about to go hard, which brings me to my other point. My next point. Um, Wait, before I start with the next point, I still need to talk about my my overlay and my background. This is this new, or it's kind of new. Um, it's partly new because it used to be, it used to be my old background for the stream, but I, I kind of revamped it. So it's like a little bit different now. It looks quite good. Um, it has everything. Like, I, I plugged my uh, Twitter and, and all that stuff. I didn't plug my Instagram. And by the way, I still don't have an Instagram. I don't I don't know why. I, I really should have just made one. Um, it's not, it's not, it's not too difficult. And all I'll have to do is, like, just share some, uh, share some lewd anime images as well as uh, some really, really dank memes. Some cancerous memes. Um, but I guess I... I didn't care enough. I didn't. I, I really didn't care enough. Um, you know, I, I I will. I will. I promise. Um, well, that's that's part. That's my that's my mini New Year's resolution, which is like start up start up an Instagram, just share like lewd anime art, um, like really really lewd, like borderline get myself banned lewd. All right, maybe that's not a good idea. That doesn't sound like too good of an idea. Um, But yeah, this is just uh, this is just the game I decided to pick up. Um, it's currently there's a soft launch on the on the Southeast Asian server. Um, the official launch isn't out yet, so I mean, if you're like living in NA, the only way you can play is you can play on this server, but you can't really install it the, the normal way. So you have to like download the APK and install it on that. If you're using an iPhone, then you can't play. Like you have to play it on Nox or something. Which isn't too hard, you just have to bind some keybinds and you'll be able to play action games on Nox. Um, I'm currently playing with an Xbox controller, by the way. I had this Xbox controller for a long time. I don't know why I had it, I just, I always kept it with me. Um, but yeah, it, it was from when I was streaming some other games. I, I thought I needed an Xbox controller to play some, uh, like, single-player games when I was streaming those. Never really stuck, though. Like, playing single-player games is very hard. Only, like, the really, really big streamers can can get a, can get any audience playing those. Um, but yeah, I, I have a New Year's resolution that I want to share with you guys, which is, uh, you know, the point that I, I brought up, but I never actually was able to start talking about because I wanted to talk about my overlay. Um, and that is... In the in the past month, um, you guys might have heard I launched an anime store. It so far hasn't really been profitable. I, I tried a few things and kind of nothing really stuck. Um, I'm still in the phase of testing and I still have a lot of things I I haven't tried. But it, it is a little bit like I guess it's a little bit depressing that uh, <laughs> nothing I tried so far has worked and I. I have worked really, really hard, but I haven't, um, you know, I haven't worked my hardest. I haven't like, I haven't gone all the way. So that's what I'm going to do this month. That's the, that's the new year's resolution that I have. Um, and it's actually pretty short. I don't, I don't want to keep like the new year's res resolution too long. Uh, basically it only lasts to the month of January, but in the month of January, 
what I plan to do is I want to um, try everything I possibly know and learned and um, just implement it for for my store and see if I can I can uh, make everything work out and stuff like that so that's kind of that's kind of the uh, the plan here that I'm just going to I'm just going to try my best not not just try my best but like go my absolute hardest like push push myself to the limits and then and, and uh, go even further beyond and that's that's kind of my my new year's resolution to to try everything that i know and just implement in my store do do everything I, that i possibly can um within the month of january and if things don't work out then i'll know that i'll at least know that i gave it my all and um you know there's only like two reasons that it wouldn't work out one is the idea was bad and two is uh i just don't have the ability you know i really just don't have the ability so you know, I need to go back to learning and I need to maybe pause that and go back to, uh, go back to learning a lot more. Um, but yeah, it's, can't say I'm too happy like so far, but, um, I'm still hopeful. I still think that I, I have a chance. I can, I can make it work. Um, you know, I, I thought that it, there was like, no possible way that it could fail but apparently apparently not apparently it's uh it's 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 a lot harder than than i thought it would be um but it's all right it's it's perfectly good because i i still have a few tricks up my sleeve i still have my my bunkai that i haven't unleashed yet and i i will be doing that very very soon um so yeah, that's that's the plan. I'm going to, I'm going to unleash my bunkai within January. That is, that is the plan. Um, you know, but if anything else, I actually was able to learn a lot about um, kind of running <laughs> running your own business and uh, oh, whoops, running your own business and also like a lot about marketing because I think marketing is actually like the the absolute. Uh, most important skill like marketing is is so important basically is like the the lifeblood of like every single company like marketing is like the most important thing because mar marketing is like what makes money um and and money just keeps everything going like the more money you have the more things that you can do there there's a vision that i have I, ha I have this vision it's actually pretty clear like it's it's super clear but it's very very hard for for me to explain to people so i'm going to try my best um Originally, I had these these things that I wanted to do in life. I had this like story uh, that I that I kind of it's a it's a story kind of about like it's a story that takes place uh, within a fantasy world, and uh, the the main characters of the story are like reincarnated heroes but they're like they're not like real life reincarnated heroes they're like not like this this isn't like a fake copy all right it, they're like reincarnated heroes within that world all right and it's uh it's pretty cool like i just i just thought of it up but then i thought of how good it would it could be it could fit as a story instead of making it like um, originally i wanted to like make it a manga or something but i thought of something even cooler like what if i because i always wanted to make a game at the same time what if i use the story as the baseline for the game that i wanted to create so i kind of like got this idea and i put them together and it actually worked out really really well like it it it, it uh it's it's pretty good like if it, if i can actually make this a thing it would be it would be pretty awesome um type of game i wanted to create is so far i wanted to make it i wanted to make a game that's like cross-platform um what, the, what i mean is like you can basically like connect to the same server through different platforms and also play through that so like um so like there will be like a mobile version, but also like a PC version. But like the PC version will more be like action action oriented. Um, it'll be more gameplay oriented. And then the mobile 
version will be like a little bit more passive but you can still get resources and stuff while you're while you're like playing the mobile version um it could be very very similar to like what we're playing right now like msl and stuff that you can eventually set up to be automatic if you have the knowledge and you can set up um you know set up everything perfectly um i don't know if it, i want it to be team based or like single single unit based um you know just have something along the lines of like what we have for msl like if you if you have this uh farming machine set up then you can use that to farm a lot, lot more effectively and accumulate resources and then if you're playing like on the pc or um you know you could you could have it on consoles as well and make it cross platform but if you know if the people that own the consoles are going to be assholes then i can just have it on pc as well because I, I know there's a lot of problem with like getting your games on consoles um but yeah you know i could i could definitely definitely do that um i want to make it cross-platform because i feel like that's that's the way of the future i feel like a lot of games uh really should take advantage of that like it doesn't have to be the same game but the resources that you accumulate when you're playing like the when you're playing here can be uh translated over there and that that concept itself uh, you might have seen in certain other games i don't know how many other games actually have that but um you know the the games are different altogether but the the uh the resources are like shared you know so that that i i thought that would actually be pretty cool just have like a a shared resource system that's that's the kind of idea i wanted to create for the uh for the game um I want, I want the game to be like online and also have like a really really big world and yeah basic basically an mmo i still like mmos all right i still like mmos but you know mmos aren't aren't that profitable but i, I will find a way to to make this profitable because it is it's a it's a it's a dream project all right it's a dream project see this is this is why i need to learn like all these marketing things because marketing is what makes money and then i thought of this this really cool idea um uh, because a, a lot of the th the the i want the main i guess the main selling point of the game to be like well obviously like the gameplay needs to be good the the visuals need to be awesome um but i want the the biggest like the the most important selling point of the game to be like like very very strongly uh story driven so have like really really cool like cinematics like they they do in blizzard so it's like almost have almost having a almost watching a movie like if, when you're going through the main storyline it's gonna it's gonna be like almost watching a movie um but you're also actively playing through it and then there's a, a lot of like uh, you know game elements where you're you have to like farm and do do certain things like the 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 usual the usual stuff um and then and then you also have to like be farming non-stop on your phone as well because you know I, I want i want it to take over your life i want i want that game to be your everything you know once you once you start playing it's gonna be like it's gonna make the addictive addictiveness of wow seem like nothing you know that's 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 what i want it to be and then like and then sell them like mad that's 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 what we're gonna do um you know learning like supplying stuff it actually could help as well you know, uh, sending physical products to people isn't isn't actually too difficult. I thought of I thought of this idea, and I thought like why why uh, why game companies like don't take advantage of, of doing something like this. It's actually not too uh, too expensive to create your own products 
and uh, get it manufactured and get it shipped out. You know, it's actually not that expensive, uh, like not ex as expensive as a lot of people might think. If you really had the the capital to invest and then like you know make orders in bulk, um, you can you can actually get get things for very very cheap. Um, so so uh, I was thinking like why don't like imagine if msl sold like merchandise where people could actually buy it say for example every time that you buy that um you every time that you uh you buy a package in msl like the holy gleam package they send you like a figure of like you know odin with her like thick booty like an actual figure like those like anime figures those like pcv figures they they send you one like every time you buy one of those hundred dollar packages don't you think a lot of people more people would buy if they they made those things in bulk like they made it in the thousands like just having each one of those figures only only costs a few cents to make you know they make it in the thousands like to actually manufacture um so like you can actually i was thinking you can actually sell merchandise for the game like and have it shipped out to like people that are like uh that are playing the game basically like when when they sign up to play like you need their address or something like that and then you can like ship stuff out globally and then whenever the, like they make it like uh like a freemium game if they, if they people can pay for stuff if they uh if they actually buy stuff then you can actually give them actual physical products and people, I think people a lot be a lot more incentivized to like to to buy shit. I don't I don't know why like nobody nobody has done this. I was I was just thinking about that. finish this guy off all right that's good wouldn't that actually be pretty cool i think there, there actually might be some laws against it or maybe they just don't have the resources to do that but honestly if you have the money you could do anything like you can you can hire a company to ship stuff out for you and just like hit up someone online be like hey i want to I want to make like 5,000 of these figures and they have to look exactly like this, you know, or you might need to buy, make like 10,000 of them, but if it's like a huge game, then it's not, it's not too expensive. And like, you know, the retail price of like a good quality figure is like, like a normal cheap one like that's that retails for like 20 something the the actual price to manufacture it is like a few cents um but for like a really expensive really you know that one that's like retails for like over a hundred dollars it might cost you like four or five dollars to to actually you know manufacture which actually isn't that much and when you think like don't you think that like you know if you had a something in the game and then you you have them buy something in the game but you also give them this thing where they're obviously fans of it because they're paying money in the game to have like a virtual virtual thing you like you ship them like a physical copy of that thing that they, they can collect you know a lot of people would be a lot more incentivized to do it i just i just thought of something like you know a lot of game companies can actually do this because obviously a lot of people are fans like if if you play msl and stuff like that if they if they made like a like a super evil dark miho figure you know when you want to when you want one of those <laughs> just to put there in your room and then if you can get it from buying the holy gleam package for example 
you know, like all of a sudden that that uh, holy gleam package seems like a lot lot higher value because you're giving something something someone something physical, um, and you say that you're going to ship it to them to the in, to their house. By the way, this isn't how I do things. I don't buy things in bulk. I don't have like that much money, um, so my my margins aren't like super super huge. But you know, if I had the capital, then I could be doing shit like this. Um, Yeah, maybe you just need capital. You just I think that's that's what you need in life. You just need capital. That's that's all you need. I just, I tried to do this with like not a lot of capital. Um But yeah, I I I think I have a lot of cool ideas. And that's not even the main selling point of the the game. All right. The game the game's main selling point, the reason why I wanted to make it like really story driven is because you know, I always had this like really cool story. Um, in that in that fantasy world, I actually had a lot of characters already thought out and and cool scenes where that would take place within the story. Um, so I thought of something like you know, if if people are really really uh, into into the the world that the story takes place in. Wouldn't they really like to live out their fantasy as well? Like, I, I feel like a lot of people would um, kind of have the same dream as me, you know, to want to be able to do this, to want to be able to create their their own story within, within that fantasy world and, and kind of live it out. And that's what I wanted to do for people. Like, I wanted to, I wanted them to be able to, to have that experience as well. And I thought of a really good way that, like, it can still be sustainable, like like money wise and still for them to be able to do it obviously not everybody will be able to make their own story and and we have to like kind of make sure the the quality is good and stuff um so like really not everybody can will be able to do it but at least the people that are like um not do very very well then obviously they'll have like a following within they'll have their own like fan base and stuff like that and uh i thought of a really cool system where you make it like you make it like like kickstarter based like you know you know how kickstarters have like these these things someone has a cool idea um and then you have all these people basically like give give that person money to make that idea a reality so what if uh before you start a start a like you want to you can write part of a story um basic maybe like a summary of it what it's what it's all about and maybe like if you have like a following or um you know you've had works like you've already you're like a writer you had like f fictional works before then you have a lot more um like uh a lot of maybe possibly a lot more people or basically you just want to sell it. you want to make it as appealing and get as many people to back you as you can and then you can get people to back you to to make your uh make your story and then like you know we'll have this like within the game so what would happen is like after you reach a certain goal uh you know we'll we'll know exactly like how much it's going to take um to be able to make it make this this story part of the game um you know maybe it's not part of the main storyline maybe it's just like a a small uh campaign on the, like a side campaign within the story and uh you know you can literally have like the world changing and stuff like have it phased out in a zone um that 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 would only take place you know within that campaign and it would be it would be pretty cool it would be like playing a playing a a actual like you know story driven game like one of those single tar single player games within within the uh the bigger mmo or something like that and you'll be able to play that out and you can have all types of crazy shit like that like if you're in a town you can make it really spooky and then you know you're in a city and like you know maybe there's a serial killer on the loose or some shit like that um that's just some some random shit that i thought of but it's it's in a fantasy world it's like with heroes and stuff damn it it didn't drop so sad trying to farm this thing and people can back you and after uh you know a certain amount of people back you then you can like basically uh the people that like you can work with the people that actually like 
or the, the actual developers of the game or the people that write the story within the game and that would actually pay for their service and uh, basically uh, you know you will be able to make your your story real and then even possibly like you know you can get a cut of the the uh, the money you know that that the backers made into creating the story you know and then the people that back you can have access to that campaign or something like that and it won't be it won't be very expensive you can still sell in the future like just make it like not really expensive like five dollars or something and then uh if they t if it's like a really like if it's like a huge campaign and you have like a lot of backers and obviously you know it can actually give like really significant rewards if it's something small then you can ob obviously still give them like small rewards that that uh you know like maybe not permanent rewards like not like super super strong gear or uh game really game changing stuff but sometimes like even like cosmetic rewards that only people that um you know have played the story and completed the campaign or something like that can get and that that creates like a sense of like collect collection you know and then maybe it can be like a pre really uh really expensive premium campaign and then you can work with a company to ship out something physical as well at the same time wouldn't that be like fucking awesome like any anyone that signs up to the game has to has to give us a real address we have to know where you live we'll just send you free shit like after you you can clear a campaign we'll send you an actual reward i guess ship to your house Whoops, I switched to the wrong one. Doesn't this sound cool already? Now, I know what, what a lot of you are thinking, like, yeah, Fanda, that's fucking retarded. And to those people, I say fuck you. That's all I'll say. That's all I can say. Oh shit, my music doesn't play. But that's my vision. That's what I wanted to create in the future. Um, I will need a few things to make that a reality. First of all, I need a shit ton of capital. Like, a shit ton, alright? I need a shit ton of capital. Um, second of all, I need good marketing skills because I need to be profitable on day one, alright? I better, I better make it profitable on day one. I, maybe I don't need to make it profitable on day one, but... I would prefer that it's profitable on day one. Um, so I need some, uh, I need some mad, mad marketing. It didn't drop, not a single one. What? You guys are bad luck. This, this video is bad luck. I can only do this three times a day and I need like 30 pieces. It's going to be impossible. This is going to take me a whole month. All right. I actually got this character, and she's like the most brain dead character that you can get. Because, uh, all you have to do is mash the same button, and you beat everybody. Like, I was in a. I was in a. A, a group, like a co op group, because this game actually has co op. You can actually play with other people. We were fighting this boss, and then they were like level 30 something. And I was using her. And she does so much single target damage that she's literally... I was doing, uh, like, four times more damage than the other two people that were in the same group as me. Like, they were doing, like, 10k. I was doing, like, 40k. Total damage. Damn, this is so fucking, like, so brain dead. She can't even touch me. Let me let me pop ulti here. Yeah, you want to eat that? Oh, 
Oh yeah, the other thing is, uh, I think this game's worth like playing for the long term. It's a, it's a pretty good game actually. If you want me to be honest, it's it's pretty good. Now it doesn't it doesn't seem that much like it because you know, it's not a. It it looks pretty like, pretty normal, pretty easy. But this is just because I don't have all the characters yet. And I'm just mashing buttons. Like, eventually, if you have the right set, like, there's a lot of uh, strategy that goes involved into doing this. And uh, it requires, like, decent mechanics as well. Let go and die. All right, we win. But yeah, that's that's what I wanted to do. All right, that is the that is my uh, my New Year's resolution. I'm going hard. I'm learning everything I can. Do everything I can. Please at least drop one. Uh, yes. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good shit. Good shit. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really have anything else to talk about. I just wanted to use this chance to uh, wish you guys all a happy new year. And, um, you know, hope you guys have some uh, cool new year's resolutions. If you have any, you can leave them in the comments. I'll, I'll read through them. And, uh, yeah. And I'll tell you if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's a good one or if it's stupid. Alright, um. That's what I'll tell you. It's stupid like my uh, game that I wanted to create. I don't think the game's stupid, alright? The game the game seems like a dream. It, it seems too good to be true. That's I think that's the one problem. It seems too good to be true. That's, that's the problem with the game. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh... I don't think I can stay awake till 12. I'm about to pass out, but, uh, yeah, good shit, everybody. Good shit. I'll see you guys next year. Peace out.